Okay. I'm going to get going with this session. Looks like we've got a couple of people online. Okay, so. Good morning, everyone. My name is Freddy. <coughs> Thank you for joining uh, us today. I will be talking about uh, how to open IEC developer project in GXWX3. So these videos uh, is a part of a series of videos to assist you with um, your work uh, with uh, w when you work with GX Works 3. Uh, most of the time we um, always uh, not very familiar with uh, the tools in uh, GX Works or we are afraid to make use of them. Okay, so let's have a look and uh, see how we can open a IEC uh, or a project that's been developed in IEC uh, without wasting any more time. So I just want to clear my desktop because it's a mess over here. There we go. So I'm starting a new project. I'm just waiting for GXWorks to start up. And there we go. Okay, so I've already created a FX5 uh, CPU, um, FX5U uh, uh, project uh, in function block diagrams. But it doesn't matter, you can uh, leave a blank project as well when you import uh, stuff. But it would, it's just nice to tell the PLC uh, or uh, GXWorks what PLC you're working with. Um, so whatever I'm going to import right now is not going to work on a FX5 at all. So this is just a template uh, that I'm using from one of our customers. Uh, I'm not going to show you any of the code. I'll scroll through the code a little bit just to show you and to prove to you that I did import the project uh, from IEC. Um, let me just have a look. Uh, something I quickly need to fix uh, before I import uh, the session. Give me a second. Oops, wrong keyboard. Wrong keyboard. Come on, rename now the file. And that will be a PLC program. And that's a PLC program. I hope this is all going to work now because I'm renaming the folders. But nevertheless, let's try it. So, what um, GX works, uh, um, IEC developer do is uh, it will save your file into two different formats. It will either be in uh, SU. Um, SUL format or it will be in uh, ASC format. Okay, so that'll be SUL will be your libraries and ASC will be the actual program. So let me import that then. From your file menu programs, you go down to open other um, file formats. Uh, let me see uh, any questions in the meantime. You guys okay with this? I need to keep my eye on the side here. Yeah. Okay, it looks good. So, there we go. Um, open other file, uh, format file. It's a little bit 
strangely worded, but uh, it's, uh, it's okay, it's understandable. Um, then we go to IEC developer format, and in this case, we're going to open a ASC file. Okay. So I'm going to go and look on my computer for a PLC program, which I've left somewhere. Why don't I see it? Oh, there we go. Uh, GX IEC PLC program. Open the program. And there's my ASC file that uh, IEC developer left for me. So you got your old IEC program. Go and select your ASC or your SUL file and you just open it in GXWorks 3. Remember the file version, uh, the, the uh, application version of GXWorks 3 need to be um, at least uh, 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 106. 1.0.60 in. Okay, so once you've imported your file, um, you're going to need to. Oh, I've lost the tool here that I just need to start. One second. <coughs> there we go. Online. Okay, so you can also read what I'm seeing on my screen. Um, so GXworks will now ask you, do you want to read the selected GXIEC developer format file from uh, that CPU, yes or no, uh, or for that CPU, uh, which will be in this case a Q12H. So cautions, all SFC files will be deleted. Um, so those are plain text programs. You can literally just replace them um, in uh, GXWorks. It's a matter of a copy and paste exercise. It depends on our difficulties, but I'll show you on XML what you can do there. <coughs> so devices and instructions might need to be manually modified after the conversion. It totally depends on how your program was written and what structure you've written the program before or whoever has written the program for you in whatever structure. So it might be work after the import. Um, when a function or a function block uh, not supported by the target PLC type uh, is used in a uh, ladder diagram or a function block diagram program. It will be changed to a unified function or a function block and will have uh, to be manually updated. Okay. So when a function or a function block is not supported by the target PLC, GXWorks will convert it. Okay. So let's carry on. Quite important to read these messages, it does help you to understand where you went wrong or why you're poking at something and you just don't get to it. Okay. So I'm going to say OK to this uh, instruction. And there's GXWorks busy converting the application for us. This is quite a substantial ap size application. Uh, it's not a small program this. So the program is not limited to the size of the PLC uh, that you've selected. In this case, I've just selected the FX5, uh, but I can always change the PLC on a later stage. I most probably need to go to a IQR or something like that. Uh, if I want to upgrade this code to something else, or I can just convert it back to a um, Q series. Then I have my code now in GXWorks. So that's going to take a couple of seconds to get done, since this is quite a huge application. And once it's done, I just want to show you one or two programs. So there's all the function blocks being created. 
and these are all unregistered programs now because CXWorks is not sure what the, was the intention of uh, that specific program or even that program was intentionally meant to be unregistered. We'll talk a little bit more about uh, the different applications in GXWorks in a later video. Um, quite handy to know. Uh, in the meantime, while GXWorks is busy there, all the information is noted of every single menu item of GXWorks. It's noted in the alpha file. So if I want to go and look at uh, um, opening a GX IEC developer format project then uh, my e-manual viewer will open me at the right uh, location for this so this is all the descriptions in fine detail please spend some time and read this very important notes that's been written in uh, the e-manual viewer um, under the GXWorks the operating manual which you will find on the left hand side there. Oops, yeah, I just went away from it. I can just open it again. Okay, so GXIC developer version 7.04 is supported. So if you've got a project that's been developed in an older version than this, there's no ways we can help you okay so this is the closest that we can get to converting from an, uh, a previous version of uh, uh, your uh, pr program which uh, would have been developed in uh, GXIAC developer okay let's see how far uh, GXX3 came with us yeah that's almost done just finalizing the layout. It's quite a, a substantial amount of work that was done just right now, uh, which you can already save yourself a, a fantastic amount of time. But unfortunately, it's going to take some serious hard work to make sure that your program has been converted properly. So somebody that do know the project needs to uh, revisit um, a functionality like this typically so if we go up um, we'll see in our uh, navigator that we have quite a huge amount of programming that just got imported and converted from IEC so these files are not empty, there are programs in there and some of them are quite extensive okay. and the nice thing is uh, GXWorks has converted them to uh, there's a typical example for you massive program just in one worksheet okay. but much easier to work with so here's another big one and there's my blank that I left there. So I think you found it quite interesting uh, to be able to import your IEC, but I cannot guarantee you that it will go smooth uh, due to newer generation uh, programming and older generation programming, older platforms. So yeah, that, there's a method of getting your program converted very quickly, uh, getting you on the go and um, save yourselves a, a, a fantastic amount of time quite frankly but yes i'm not gonna lie to you you're going to do some work uh there is some stuff that you need to do but at least you don't need to rewrite everything from scratch um as long as your previous and your original program was written in a decent way and in a good uh, structure then uh, you might just save yourself uh, a headache or two um that is iec so I'm going to cut it short on this clip for today. Um, again, please have a look at the information noted in uh, the e-manual uh, viewer for uh, a little bit more detailed 
explanations of why certain things are happening when you're converting from one uh, platform to another um, in GXWorks 3. Um, and don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, let's have a look there if anybody got a question for me. I didn't even note. Anybody have a question for me? Let's see. So what do we have there? Um, I don't hear anything from anyone. Hey Darwin. Did so someone find that helpful? Somebody that might have a IEC background or a project that's running somewhere on uh, GX IEC? Okay, so I'm gonna call it a day on uh, this video. Uh, there will be many more coming uh, sequentially as we're going getting uh, this time and also in the future. You're welcome, Peter. Thank you for attending. Um, uh, if you guys want to get more information on uh, uh, a bit more detail in our uh, knowledge base you're most welcome to go to our knowledge base um, you merely have to go to to our support you can go to our, our android forum or to our Mitsubishi knowledge base you're most welcome to go and um, have a look at it. There's a lot more information in there. A little nitbits, little example programs, uh, animated display, uh, animated um, videos uh, on uh, uh, short little things that uh, you can get yourself uh, uh, on the go quickly with uh, maybe a common problem that people struggle with. Okay, so. Feel free go to the, our Android website and um, visit the knowledge base and please leave us some feedback and uh, least but not last subscribe and like our channel and select the bell icon and you'll be notified at the moment we go live on our next videos. Um, thank you very much everyone for uh, being uh, with us for today and uh, hope to see you next time. Have a nice day, stay safe and enjoy the day.